Another technology, the common cell phone, has the capability to be transformed into an unexpected tool of surveillance. My mobile phone company knows more about me than I know about me. My mobile phone company knows every phone call I've made in the past few years. My telephone, I can use it in any country in the world. Every time I, I travel, I turn on my mobile phone. My mobile phone company now knows where I am. Keeping track of where a favored pet might have disappeared to was behind the development of a high-tech tracking system. Home Again is an implantable microchip that brings Fluffy back to their owner, where you insert a microchip into the neck of a dog or a cat as an example. And if that dog is lost and brought to an SPCA or a veterinary clinic, the veterinarian takes a scanner, runs it over the neck of the dog, and it pulls up a number. That number ties to a database, and the dog is reunited with its owner. A version of this chip was developed for human use, but it wasn't until September 11th that people began to recognize how valuable an implanted identifier might be in a disaster. As a result of 911, there are now 11 people in North America that currently have a Vera chip inside of them, and I am actually one of them. The Jacobs family of Boca Raton, Florida, saw the chip as a potential lifesaver. They expressed interest in being the first chipped family in the world. My son was so intrigued with the technology that he just stood up and said, I want to be the first kid implanted with this chip, and this chip can help save my dad's life. With his dad's long history battling cancer and a constantly changing list of medications, the hope is that the chip might identify him and his medication even if he was alone and incapacitated. At present, the implanted chip is no more than a passive container of a unique identification code. But it turns into something quite different when that chip is married to a satellite-based global positioning system, commonly known as GPS. We have started work on the world's first implantable chip for GPS tracking capabilities. It's the first product to provide where you are information through GPS and how you are information through sensor technologies to our database or our data center where people actually sit and monitor the whereabouts and vital signs of a loved one such as a elderly parent or a child. This has the potential to become the ultimate biometric identification, perhaps outside of DNA, the only way to prove that we are who we claim we are. This technology turns all of us into walking barcodes. Even if the technology does work, even if it works perfectly, do we really want that type of world where the technology is able to follow you wherever you go, whether you're a criminal or not? Just because the technology is there or is getting there, that is not reasonable. Now they're talking about linking the uh, air security databases with credit agency databases, linking that to your past travel databases, linking it to your bank. When you can link all this information together, just even for a moment, a massive profile is created. We have come to accept profiling as part of the brave new world order of post-September 11th. That's the insidious nature of surveillance. It creeps beyond national borders into the very fabric of our societies until one day we look around and discover that we've all become security threats. Benjamin Franklin had a wonderful line. People who are willing to give up uh, a little liberty for a little safety will, will have neither and deserve neither. I think our freedoms have been curtailed considerably already and I don't see that we're any safer.